Night settles. You guys find easy campsites. Uh, you guys are, again, out of the muck of the... Yeah, Margin Talon to yourself. You're heading over to Davros. I don't think there much needs to be said. There's a sense of satisfaction amongst all of you. Definitely. And... This is something Nevi would remark, if not Owen or someone else. Mira would remark it definitely as well. But I think Nevi voices it just fine, because she's our sweet little child. So... I get it now. Owen's like sitting next to her. Eating. I don't know. Not me on the snack. What do you mean? I get why Connor knows him adventure. Owen smiles and nods at that. Definitely. A little exchange between the little couple. Ha, fucking nerds. Adorable. But, but yeah, night settles in. Yeah, I like to think really, while they do that. Marshall said, You have fire, never seen one of those. I just want to say. That's, that's pretty really, rough. Yeah. That's, like, statistically, like, it doesn't make sense. But then. It's a 50 yeah, 50. You failed seven times. I want to give you inspiration, but I also <laughs> like, want to save it. But, like. Yeah, no, don't. But the thing is, like. Like, you've done this, like, at least, like, I think we're approaching, like, ten times now. Not add ten. Approaching it. Decline. It just isn't, yeah, it's, I don't know. Is she I mean, I, I get that. I get that. Yeah, find some good shit to find. Yeah, sure, yeah, why not, yeah. <laughs> you can use the coin of Karim if you would like. Um, sure, let's see. If oh, yeah. I can help me. Oh, no. oh. Dude. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know what to say. Like, I, I guess I, I get. I get that. That's, that's 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 me with like my boss fights and everything. That's like I get that. I get that, that is very true. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Karis is not the best when it counts, but it is the best. She they they are the best when it doesn't count. Um, but that doesn't matter because I have um a proposition. Um, so Karis would cook something really nice. Uh, it's not that nice, but it's better than y'all are used to. Um. Nine from pretty pretty definitely cool. better than Cheddar. Um, yeah, Cheddar would give with a raw deer or just like yeah. eat it. <laughs> if you don't right. get salmonella or something, you're fine. Put it over the fire. Uh, you want to work in the health and safety? <laughs> I. But I would ask, um, uh, Marshall, if um, so. so we got a lot of interesting things lately, you know, and I would like to have um, a little fun fight with it. I um, so I mean, I don't have anything fight worthy, but I have a short sort of warning um, and you have, uh, I don't know all of the weapons, so I'd like to try it out and like just see how it goes with you. I would love to. I still I still am owed an, an, an a rematch. We never we never did that. Shall I use the Atapati style again? Blindfold. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sure, um, of course, what, whatever you just said. <laughs> um, I think that's probably what everyone's thinking, like, yep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, uh, let's roll initiative and see who goes first. <laughs> Prepared. Oh, okay. it's a turn tracker! That's... Space 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 I would just let Karis go first this time. Okay. You killed um, my father. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. I'll stab. I have no thing from. Wait, my short sword. It's a one d six, I believe. Whatever. I'm just gonna use a long sword. Never mind. I don't want to make anyone for this. So yeah, there's a twenty three hit. Oh my god, the that first hits. time. <laughs> it hits. Mm -hmm. Twelve points of damage. Oh man. Twelve Excellent. points of damage. Nebby's on standby, like a paramedic at an A good strike indeed. I see you have improved. To be fair, I never got a hit on you. 
So it's a hundred percent improvement rate. <laughs> a fourteen doesn't hit. Oh my god. <laughs> or does it? Because he has a save. <laughs> Here already die. Add uh, that. That does it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so twelve damage. That's a lot for me. And if we do the double damage roll, I think it's just gonna go faster. If you guys want, it's up to you guys to agree upon. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I... Wait. Ah, oh, Jesus. How much is fifty-two divided? By... Wait. Fifty-two divided by two is twenty-six. Yeah, uh, 28. Sorry. Okay, got it. 26. No, wait. 56 oh, wait. divided by 2. Never mind. It's right. 26 um, for 52. 28 for... Um. Oh, wait. I forgot something, but it doesn't matter. So, long story. 19 hits? Uh, does not. Fuck. Um, oh, you do have advantage, though. What? You have advantage. You're fine. I'm going to target. Oh, that's just rude, okay? He said um, that in the very beginning. He's like, okay. But I do have a bonus action, which is my crossbow hand. Still missing that dead. 20 doesn't hit you, you fucking monster? Are you kidding me? Have you seen the rest of the party? <laughs> 22. Oh, wait, I'm using my perception shield. 21. <laughs> Okay, that's that's my turn. I just think well, like they're so close and they're balance. like glancing off. Like you have improved a lot. Can't glance up across the wall. <laughs> oh, I would ask um if uh Mira wants to play a battle music to this because I really suck at this. I need some inspiration. Huh? It's not hard. I reject your proposal. That was just me. Uh, 12 doesn't hit, but 17 does. Yeah, he's all there. Uh, and uh, he, he drops his shield. That's 26. Just twirls the axe have... around in one hand. Okay, I have 2 HP left. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Go for it. You might win. Never know. Crit. Crit. Sure. Super crit. Let's see. That was twenty six. And then I have another hit with my crossbow at advantage, another, so no. Another attack. Did that So the first attack hits. Twenty two. Yeah, the first one. Twenty four, forty six. Okay. Oh. It's almost halfway down. Fuck off! Okay, I give up! He's a fighter. I, I don't know what you're expecting Tangling with a fighter in a- Wait, wait, wait. I use a- I, I use a free action to tag team in Chetomir. Chetomir, go! And I push her in. He just- uh, uh, Throws his axe back- puts his axe back and pulls the blindfold back on to a bandana. Just puts a hand on Kara's shoulder. Strength is not in your magic, your fighting, or your skills. It is in what's in your heart. Jeremy, make him eat his words. Come on. Your fight. I mean, like, Marshall, you wanna. To... Come on, dude. We have to best him somehow. We're a team. You, you pick the fight. <laughs> I'll back you up, but it's like. Tara ta yeah, just like, scoffs at you. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall, I've heard that if you if you scratch the point between your shoulder blades with both hands at the same time, your strength two folds. <laughs> can, I, can I do that? He's just try to reach. And... Yeah. Oh, I, I also heard if you lick your elbow, your 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 uh, god level strength. Oh, well, that's very <laughs> interesting. And he licks his finger, then absolutely. <laughs> See, that was smart. <laughs> oh, also, Marshall, if uh, your hand is larger than your head, you have cancer. cancer what is cancer? Not be able to reach his head, thanks. Uh, uh, cancer is. 
bad disease. I don't know. You should measure it. Okay. <laughs> Looks at it. And then I put push your hand into your face. Can you reach his hand? I was about to say, like, is, aren't you guys like all fucking giant? <laughs> Not <laughs> tiny. I will. I will use Tedemir as a ladder, like gladly. I'll give her a boost, or give him a boost. <laughs> Too kind, and then I use polymorph to make Chetamir a goose. DC, uh, with a DC 15 saving throw. Go ahead, knock out that wisdom saving throw there, Chetamir. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> pissed off goose you have ever seen, and that's impressive. Uh, you don't underestimate a pissed off goose. Those things are fucking. <laughs> that's why I say it's impressive. <laughs> I have yeah. seen a pissed off goose. It's terrifying. Yeah, yeah I've seen him at the park, and I'm like, poor son bitch. of a bitch. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah, that's what you get. You're not backing me up in his fight, motherfucker, and then you fucking deck me. I think Goose is already. Uh, you are a devil human in like a fucking second. How long? Actually, I will keep you as an animal for like a, a bit. I'm just gonna, like, it's sit on Nebby's fucking lap. <laughs> As a fucking goose. I will try to catch you, and then I will grill you, your ass. I, I will use the net with my name on it, it I still It lasts up to an hour. And unless you hurt yourself. Or someone hurts you. Well, uh... Because I'm well, pretty sure a goose only has, like, one fucking hit point. That's yeah, probably... <laughs> probably kills herself. <laughs> that kills me. No, she's just gonna sit in Nebby's fucking lap. I will- uh, I will well, grow you. I, uh... Wait. I like and the original wait, you better? When, he, when when she's sitting down, I will- I will get the spell away. <laughs> I don't know if this is there you worse. Go. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? I am fine, besides my shattered ego. You sound like Connor. <laughs> Thank you. She shrugs up if that's a good thing. Uh, Wait, Marshall. Tamer just sits next I to I could Nebby. turn you into a bear if you want. Or an ox, and then you can understand how how how, how your ox feels. Mm. Or an owl bear. Yes. I think it does. Yes. I, I, think, I don't think it does. I have seen an owl bear before. I believe there's okay, a wait, limit to what the CR rank of the thing you cast. Yeah, it's equal to the person that's cast on. So since we're eighth level, it'd be CR eight. Oh god, I don't know the CR, but now America don't care. It's three. it's it's like, I'll say it's three or five. Okay, so I will put you all around in a circle and just tell you the story of the scariest thing I've ever seen, and then in the middle of it, I will turn fucking Marshall into the thing. <laughs> into no, what? An owlbear. Into an owlbear. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Must resist Ten urge Ten. to ride bear. Do it. Don't be a fucking asshole. <laughs> Mira. Huh? That's all right, Marshall. That's all right, Marshall. Hey, like, Seema, give me a boost. Tries to jump up and flap his wings, but obviously it <laughs> doesn't exist. Uh. You know, Karis, we could use this newfound ability of yours to travel, scout. Yeah, totally. Something useful. Um, about that. Be safe, Mira. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I, I, actually, I leave Marshall in Albert form because I think he's happier this way. <laughs> but um. Pretty, pretty happy. Yeah, <laughs> but I wanted to talk to you all um, in a calm and collected manner this time. And I sit next to Nebby and I hold her hand. I don't am... take a genius to realize she's worried and her eyes blizzard. I over. I am going home back to the heartlands. I will ride back tonight, <clears throat> and uh, see if I can get 
Alex to get me back home. I want to leave the adventure in life behind. Nevi feels cold to your touch, and you all see her, without a word, silently, get more and more increasingly visible draconic features, and her eyes lose their shiny sapphire weight and become like hazy ice. She didn't say anything or even move. First, um, I appreciate the fact that you're taking the time to have this conversation with us, Cares. It shows that you have learned something, perhaps even grown. So I want to commend you for that before we say anything else. Can I ask what... How did you... How did you come to make that choice? Well, I made it back when SARS got sucked into hell. I just... ran off. And, um... Honestly, a big part of it is is you as well. You kind of, you know, you never let me live it down. And that's a big part of it, I guess. But honestly, I'm just afraid. I I have nothing to gain from this and everything to lose. I, I love you all dearly. I really do. I don't I don't regret anything and I am I'm not sorry for meeting you and I look to Nevi <clears throat> and I just I just can't see I, I just can't watch you all get hurt and I can't participate in this lifestyle anymore. I'm not an adventurer. And I don't want to be one. Not anymore. And... Nevi, I am... I'm sorry. But you're not alone anymore. You don't need me around. Curious. Go ahead. I said it first. I always said it. Go ahead. <laughs> if, you, if this is what you know in your heart is right for you, then that's the decision that you have to make. And I, I know that this is your truth, that you, you aren't getting something out of this the way the rest of us are, but I hope that you know that if nothing else, you got a family out of this. Family is still family regardless of, of distance and of time. And it's your choice whether or not you leave, but I hope you know that if you do leave, or, or when you do leave, we'll still be here. Thank you. I mean, I literally tattooed a dragon on my arm. <laughs> it's not like I can't forget you. Like, even if I tried, it, like, you know. Um, also, I turned Marshall back into a human. 
Um, Jesus, what did you do? Marshall Bear Alatides. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's yeah, that awesome. Is <laughs> Can I just say, I feel like he pressed that button the second I said I turned him back, so I can just see an owl bear coming from up <laughs> behind me, trying to bite me, and then I turn him back. Yeah, and, and it's got a high man coach, so you got to be two creatures looking at you. <laughs> oh, okay. you're a comedic genius. Just comes up behind you and just picks you up in a big bear hug. Oh my god. Oh, wait, Marshall or the owl bear? Yes. As he's changing back. Oh. Yeah. It's like brother bear. Brother bear. Let's go over and get death save. All right, get Sam, down, baby. You lived. <laughs> Set you down and scruff your hair. Don't forget to follow your heart. I won't. My weird little sailor friend. I'll, I'll always be your weird little sailor friend. And when you get to the Heartlands, like, come over and visit visit me. I I do have a boat. I, I have a pretty big boat. Um, it, It's the Cromron ship. You, you can't miss it. You can just ask people around. They, they probably know me. I'm not, you know, I've never been quite the what, silent type. Um, I have this mental image of a harbor, and I don't think we would have to guess as to which ship is yours, Karis. <laughs> it's actually not really so yes but the thing is i didn't decorate it <laughs> so it isn't that visible what the friend of the family it it. We, we can't just go wandering about the heartlands asking about a boat what town is it in yeah. <laughs> no but you will confine me and and um i'm sure like uh if you're if you're interested um Aldrich, uh, because you know stone things and stuff. My 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 grandfather is actually a, a dwarven jeweler. He has a lot to do with with stones. He can probably help you out a little, um, with like the history of magics and shit and and whatnot. Um, he's he's a pretty smart, dude. What's uh, his name? Uh, Grandpa Ranron McDon. Ranron <laughs> McDon. Yeah. Oh, damn. Grandpa Ranron. He's a pretty, pretty, pretty dope dude. A nod. <laughs> and you can. And is is Nevi like at all responsive again? Why well, draw me insight? I, want I don't to say want something to. at some point. Chadra's gonna roll insight. She's bored about her fiend. Where the fuck is my inside at? Damn it, I still need to talk to Baleska! God damn it. Sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. Fuck the real big. <sighs> she is as cold as the north. A face like ice. Maybe it's it's gonna be okay. I when you when you visit us, you can meet my my mother and my mom and and we can we can sail around and have fun. It's it's gonna be okay. What was the first I'm thing she asked of you when you met her again? Don't leave. How many days ago was that? Like a couple. I have... One sec. Ooh. Look, I... Oh, hold on, I still have a thing. I... <laughs> I had to type something real quick. I good, have good thing. experience with people coming and going. Whether it be of their own volition or... In the rain! Marshall. I have experience with people coming and going, whether they want to or not. And I can tell you for a fact that I agree that this is probably the best choice for you. And it is absolutely the worst possible choice for everyone else here. 
Leaving hurts a lot more than somebody dying. I don't expect that to stop you or anything, but I just want you to know that that hurts. I'm sorry to hear that. But no, it doesn't change anything. Some bridges, when burned, can be rebuilt, but they're rickety. If you burn them twice, sometimes you have to face the fact that that bridge will be gone. I know. Um, the last time I feel like I burned the bridge with the right intent but the wrong execution and I don't want to burn the bridge I want to I don't know take it apart but strategically I guess it I am still destroys a bridge and it is Kara's choice to make thank you Marshall but honestly, it's it's not like... I mean, it's not like you guys fought for me to stay here. Okay? Like, I left. You could have you could have gotten me back. I just honestly, put a hand on Kara's shoulder. It, it doesn't matter now. You're right. I'm sorry. This is not the right environment for me. When I, when I joined Enos back in the Heartlands, I did it because, you know, I wanted to be an adventurous, rebellious uh, part of something. And my my parents tried to get me away from that, but I I just didn't want to listen, and they told me that's not the right place for you. But they still let me go because it was something I had set my mind to and there was nothing they could do about it except accept it and let it happen. But those were the worst years of my life. Honestly, they were all very mean to me. And I did very mean things. And I would have continued that hadn't I, hadn't I met you. I would have continued being sad. I would have continued being in a bad, bad place without you all. And for that, I want to thank you because you're giving this, this to me, this feeling of having achieved something and having met wonderful people. But that doesn't change the fact that I can't stay because it's not the right environment for me to grow. Aldrich stands up. Cares. Go. Live your life. Do your thing. You and I will not meet again. And then he walks over, oh, walks off. <laughs> yeah, kind of pictures like a conga, I know that's saying goodbyes. Go be the best pirate captain you can be. I don't want to be a pirate captain. Whatever say, let's do. Perhaps we will see you again. I hear there's many wonderful fishes in the sea to fight. There are. There is a lot of fish. And, and when you come and visit me, I want to show you all of them. Actually, um, I wanted to give you, um, because you're, you're the best fighter in the world. We all know that. But sometimes people can be sneaky about it. And um, I think this can help you. And I give you this short sort of warning. It, it will warn you when someone tries 
something bad. If you're sure, I will use it well. Thank you. Also, um, Tala? She is. She's been like, arms been crossing just regarding this whole time. And she raised an eyebrow. Um, I know we don't know each other very well. She shakes but... her head. We do not. But if, if Marshall is the one teaching you, you're going to be the greatest fighter ever above him. And Jesus, um, Marks. I doubt it. But I'm trying to be more than a fighter. Good. That is good. Um, but if you're going to continue with this group of people, um, I don't know. Would you like to maybe? I just I just hand her my crossbow and the special black-headed bolts that we made, because we're going to fight. You, you're probably going to fight a god at some point, um, or a fell god creature like, and this can help you if you want. She gives it back to you. You will need it on your journey home. Oh, I have my stuff for the journey back home. You will need it for staying there, then. Agreed. Go and find your greatness. I do not fear any god, but the sands take out. She stands up. It does your slow, uh, low bow. But I hope you walk on smooth sands, guys. Thank you. You too, and I bow. Good luck. I do not need luck. I shall have skill. Then good fighting. Marshall just has a huge smile when she says. No. I do go over to Sima, and um. I hug you. I give her a very, I give you a very awkward hug back. <laughs> Classic Seema. Classic Seema. Anime style. Get really embarrassed about it at first and then lean into it. <laughs> um, you'll, you'll do great. And I, I wish you the best of luck. May Karim smile upon you. May he smile upon you. <laughs> um, also, you'll come visit me, right? If I'm in the neighborhood. Okay. Um, then uh, hold on to this for me until you're back. And I um I re give you the luck stone, you know, hmm? like <laughs> I have such an excessive amount of luck products on me. <laughs> his, his name I didn't control Wayne. a luck point, okay? <laughs> yeah, but this gives you a plus one to everything. <laughs> that's not luck, that's skill, bitch. Sorry, <laughs> I should, but it's an affectionate way. <laughs> I mean, if you want it, I can keep it, like, in a oh. mind. I didn't say- I, this, that was Taryn saying that, not Seema. <laughs> Seema accepts it graciously. Thank you. <laughs> um, is Owen still here, or did he follow his uncle? He's still around. I would imagine he's staying close to Nevi. Indeed. You would be correct. Maybe he's just flanked by Chetamir and Owen, pretty much. Maybe he's kind of tonic. Mm. I know. <sighs> I, um... Is Owen looking mad at me? Like, what's his deal? He said it before, and he when he gets your gaze upon him, he gives you a mirthless smile. I'm used to people going. 
I know. But it's not like... You will, you will all be fine. I'm sure of it. Yes, because this seems perfectly fine. She says next to the fucking comatose Nebby. I don't regret it. I don't regret asking you to join me on this adventure. I... I'm sorry that you feel this way. But I'm not dying, Nebby. I'm actually living. I'm going to live in the heartlands. She turns on the hero, 180s, and sprints into the darkness of the night of the forest around you. I use primal mark to mark her and book after. It's a shame it you don't have dark. I can cast dark vision on myself. Put a hand on Karis. Give it time. We will watch out there. I know you will. takes a single bead, puts it in your hand, in case things, in case you get into a fight you cannot. Thank you. But I, I won't. I'm done with fighting. At least with weapons. Might be done finding fights, but the fight may always find you. If the young Magnus is any consideration, it doesn't matter if you're looking for a fight. Trouble shall find you. Yeah, but I think that's a Magnus trait. <laughs> it is a trait of life. Do not win. You'll hear wonderful stories about how he slid the god one. Can't wait. I honestly can't. You'll love it there. You'll you you'll love the Heartlands, and and I will build you an arena. I will I will I will get everyone together and build you in a fucking arena, <laughs> and then you can come over and we can all battle in there. It's gonna be great. I would like that. Be safe on your journey. Wherever it may lead you. Marshall... Am I... Is it bad being selfish? I don't know that I'm the best one to... I left my wife behind to chase my dream. And are you happy? Every day. Thank you. I am um, back on the first adventure we all ever had before we met you and when we all first met. We fought a big nasty troll um, on the top of a mountain. I'm pretty sure I told you about it, like, before. Side of the mountain. Um, yeah. And, and oh, yes, I remember. I remember yeah. you telling me, chatting me, sprinting her heart out. Yeah, exactly. And I saved the day. That didn't, that didn't really happen. Um, we all saved the day. <laughs> um, it, was, it was a really intense fight. Um, but I kept a claw of the beast, and... Um, T take good care of everybody, and um, maybe this th this will remind you of me, you know, and of us. If you ever have to go and chase your dreams somewhere else, because 
Sometimes we have to do that. And I give you that claw on a, on a necklace. Immediately takes it, puts his arm behind his back, puts the claw there. Hey, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're going to be the greatest, and then I will tell the tales of you. I will watch over them for you. Do not worry. Thank you. Then I give a last hug to Marshall. <laughs> and, to and, um, if, if Seema wants it, I would like to give you also the Connor's sealing potion. I'll take it. And, and the glowing rock. I called it Madonna, if I'm already giving you one. Um, because I don't, I, I won't, I will hopefully be in a more light place starting tomorrow. Um, and if Nevi ever gets into a better mood, um, or if she ever forgives me, uh, which I don't think she will, but, you know, um, I made her this, and I give her a little in a wolf hide made scrapbook full of pictures of the very first time we met her, and where I started drawing, like, where it's like apple, and, uh, eyes and whatnot and then different like drawings we did throughout the whole adventure thing it's just a little little something if she wants it if not you know doesn't matter um i guess that's it um i will ride away before everyone comes back so bye everybody and I leave the party yeah. behind. Marshall will just give you a warrior salute on the way out. And I just turn the Seema. You know, for a second I thought we were gonna end this one positive. It seems that we have a talent for messing that one up, don't we? I suppose we do. <laughs> Goes, sits down and <sighs> stretches out again. No, we should probably check on them. But I'm sure that'd be fine. Leaves me my first question. To... Uh, Fred, how far does Aldrich go? How far does he go? Danaway is following you, so you're not alone. Shrek of the darkness. Aldrich would go out of earshot because he wants some... Quiet. Yeah. Peace. Can't say I'm surprised. Danaway says she catches up to you. No. She comes up from behind you and just hugs you. It's a bit awkward, to be perfectly honest, but it's endearing in its own way. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. Guy. You can tell she's putting her heart into it, if not uh, her entire skill into it. Uh, Put my hand over hers, lean my head on hers. At least Owen's fine. <sighs> He's durable in all the strange ways. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely say that. I've thought about something. What? What I want. I want... 
a future for Owen. You can feel her and Nevi. head nod. I want a future where they don't have to look over their shoulders. A future where the world isn't riding on the fate of their uncle. <laughs> you hear a scoff and smirk at that. <laughs> Fate's an asshole. Fuck fate. Yeah, agreed. <sighs> I'm here for the now. Not the then. Yeah. Fair grip tighten on you. Without you as my now, I would have fallen into darkness. I would give in to my baser self. I would. I mean. I would strike them down where they stood. <laughs> but that would hurt Nevi more, I think. No. Any vindictive punishment will have to come from the fact that Kers and I will never meet again. She unleans off you. They say success is the best revenge. Indeed. And we have bigger fish to fry. She knows of that. I'm right beside you. Always. Right where I want you. Smiles wildly at that. <sighs> we should get back. Before more stupid shit happens. Such as your nephew running off. Shut the fuck up, Jeremy. You're out there. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sorry. bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I turn around, pull her close, and, and smooch. For oh, now, let's let the world. For now, let the world burn, and I give her a kiss. She leans into it. But when you guys finish, she says, "Funny, I was thinking about interrupting you and doing the same thing." <laughs> Come on. I follow. Eyes open. Now to the other departing group. 